So I don't have a technical background, but I was able to pivot into the AI field two years ago. Many of my non-technical friends want to participate in the AI revolution, but don't know how. So much of the AI hype has been around engineers and coding that non-technical people often feel left out. Today, I'll talk about how non-technical people can pivot into the AI field. First of all, I believe that in the age of AI, the definition of being technical itself is changing. We used to think of technical as equivalent to being able to code, but now that AI can code faster than humans, I think we should revisit this dichotomy. If you don't code, I personally think that instead of trying to learn coding from scratch or trying to get technical, you should try to become technically literate. What do I mean by that? Here's what I think you actually need to know to become technically literate. You should understand what the state-of-the-art AI models can do, what are their limitations and potential. You should understand the direction and speed of the development. So follow industry news and understand what it will be able to do in three to six months. Third, you should understand how to turn technology into an actually useful product that can solve real-world problems. You should know about and become a power user of the top AI products and also learn how to prototype or design products through vibe coding. Fourth, you should be able to convey the benefits of AI products to end users. In sum, I don't think you need to become a coder to ride the AI wave, and I believe the line between technical and non-technical is blurring. Note that what you choose not to learn is as important as what you choose to learn, because our time and energy is limited. So I believe that instead of signing up for a coding bootcamp, you should just tinkle with vibe coding tools to build little projects. Instead of spending hours poring over academic papers about how the models are trained, you should be using these products hands-on and watching podcast interviews with their builders and founders. Next, how to position yourself in the market. If you want to actually join an AI company, you need to understand these two charts. The first one is the tech stack of the AI industry, which I borrowed from Andrew Young. At the bottom layer, you have chip companies like NVIDIA, then you have cloud, then you have foundation models like OpenAI or Anthropic. At the very top is the application layer. This is the layer that I believe non-technical people can contribute the most to, and also the layer that I think has the biggest potential going forward. These are things like the AI coding tools, Perplexity, Granola, AI browsers, etc. In other words, this is where the rubber meets the road, where the technology is actually turned into a useful product in the hands of end users. Let's look at the second chart. This is roughly the value chain of the AI industry. It starts with researchers who find out that AI has these new capabilities. Then the engineers and the product team turn it into an actual product. Then it goes through the go-to-market team, which consists of things like sales and marketing. Then it finally reaches the end user. I believe that if you're non-technical, you would contribute the most value at this last mile stage, that is between product go-to-market and the end user. This could go both ways. For example, you can work in the top to bottom direction, which means helping an AI product go to market, translating a product into benefits that users can understand, and distributing it to more users. Or you can work in the opposite direction, which means you can take your deep understanding of the end user and translate that into product specifications, using these insights to decide what to build as a product manager or a founder. Next, I want to talk about why you don't need AI-related experience. A lot of my friends complain that they want to pivot into AI, but they don't have any AI-related experience on their resume. I think, first of all, you need to understand that almost nobody has AI-related experience because this field is so new. The technology itself is only a few years old. Only 0.01% of people can say that they actually have AI-related experience. But I think that whatever field you were working in before should become your asset, not your liability. This chart is what I mean. You might think the pivot to AI will look something like the top chart, where you're joining a completely unrelated field that has nothing to do with what you were working on before. But actually, it's going to look more like the bottom one. AI is going to have an overlap between whatever you were working on before, and this is where you'll shine. If you were working in education, then look at companies that are trying to disrupt education with AI. If you were a lawyer, then look at companies working on disrupting the legal field with AI. The point is, the biggest value tends to be created at the intersection of different fields or skill sets. If you want to become irreplaceable, be at the intersection. In order to realize AI's full benefit, we need both technical expertise and domain expertise because the technology is only useful if it's applied to real-world problems. Engineers may understand the solution, but you understand the problem. Your past experience in these unrelated fields should become your unique assets. So how do you actually land a job in AI? 
I prefer to reframe this question into how to get discovered because I don't believe the traditional job seeking methods are relevant anymore. You shouldn't be sending your resumes into hundreds of job postings and hoping someone picks it up. Most likely, they'll just pass on it because, on the surface, you don't have any AI related experience. Instead, you should spend your time working on becoming discoverable. Luck is mathematics. Luck equals surface area times probability. So, we should work on increasing our luck surface area. To become discoverable, you need to show, not tell. You need to build something. You have two options either you build a product or you build an audience. These two correspond nicely with what Naval Ravikant said. He said code and media are permissionless leverage. So, don't wait for other people to give you permission. You don't need anyone's permission in order to build your product or your own audience online. And AI has made both of these a lot more accessible. In the past, you needed an army of engineers to build a product. Now you can just vibe code it yourself. You can just do things. It's no longer about credentials like which school you went to or what big tech company you've worked at. It's about getting your hands dirty and showing what you can actually build. Your demo and your content will speak louder than your resume. So, to sum it up, these are my tips for pivoting into AI for non technical people. Work on becoming technically literate. Become a power user of AI products yourself. Identify your place in the market. Your past experience is your strength, not your liability. Become discoverable by building a product or audience. I deeply believe that the AI industry has a place for everyone. And as we're seeing more and more technology translated into actual products, the role for non technical people will become more and more important.